Hello, good evening traders. Welcome back to the channel. This is Vishal and you're watching Nifty and Bank Nifty Short Term View. Guys, before I start today's video, I would just like to share something funny which happened today. This is my Twitter handle. And you can see I have uh, just posted a tweet today morning. I think just when market hours, uh, I, what I wrote was in last two trading sessions, uh, Subay Teji, Shamko Mandi. Aj Subha Mandi and Shamko Wat. And what we have seen today is that market has recovered and Shamko Teji Uye. But that was just on lighter note. What is actually happening in last few days is absolutely, you can say, a state of volatility for the short term, especially the early time frame chart. You can see a big rise in Nifty, a very good breakout, I should say, above this particular resistance, especially considering it was uh, along with this Fibonacci retracement. Then after this breakout, we saw a pretty decent rally on the upside. On the second day, there was a gap up. Then after the gap up, there was a sell-off. Then again, the next day, markets did recover pretty nicely after opening gap down. It was a very steep rally. And again, after that steep rally, what happened yesterday evening was a sell-off. Now, Today morning, if you check what happened, today morning there was a sell-off and then again we recovered. So it is like nothing but price all over the place dancing just up and down. And if you want to check this just with three candles, you can check these three candles. The first candle is a small inverted hammer. The second one is a uh, slightly larger inverted hammer. And third one is today's, you can say, hammer which is built on a support. Now, in terms of trend, yes, once again, we have the trend on the upside in the daily time frame chart and the hourly time frame chart. The support which has worked today is this one, which is the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement of this entire rally, which is at 18.250. If you remember that I had clearly stated that if prices close below 18.240, then we'll see some sort of sell-off hop happening in the markets. So from 18.240, we saw that Nifty, uh, Nifty Spot did dip till 18.200 or 202. But again, this particular Fibonacci retracement, which is at 18.200 in the hourly time frame chart, and 18.250, which is a Fibonacci retracement in the daily chart, these two particular levels came together, acted as a support band. Rather than a level, they came together and acted as a support band. And we can see that the Nifty spot has bounced back. Now, after bouncing back, what's going to happen ahead? Obviously, that is going to be a question in all of your minds. According to me, uh, from this particular close, today's close, till 18.380, this entire range is a resistance. According to me, in the short term, it's a resistance. And once again, above 18.380, even if we surpass 18.380, this is the trend line which I had shared with all of you. Right, This particular trend line is still holding on. This has not been surpassed. So we will have to close above this trend line, which could be 18, 430 or 450, something like that. Only then we'll have a follow through buying happening. Only like this follow through buying will come if we surpass this particular trend line resistance. So just by, you know, jumping by 18 to 50, we have just done one thing that we managed to not go below the support level and destroy the momentum which had been created beautifully from this point of 18,050. But more than that, to expect anything is in Nifty would be a little bit more aggressive. In the banking spot, in the banking spot, if you see that uh, this particular support band has worked really nicely. This entire support band which I had shared yesterday with all of you in the hourly time frame chart, the coordinates are uh, 43,537 to 43,454. This entire band is a support which has worked nicely. And Bank Nifty went below this particular support band, but the close has been above the support band. You can see the hammer has closed above the support band. And from this low of 43,392, we have managed to recover till 43,722, something like that. Now, in terms of trend, I guess in the daily time frame chart, since the price is trading between both of the moving averages, I guess we are still consolidating and the trend is flat. Even in the hourly time frame charts, you can see the trend is flat. And now we have to face a resistance 43,825 to 
to 43705. This short term uh, level in this entire band is going to act as a short term resistance because the reason for that is a lot of trading has occurred over here. So I'm pretty sure a lot of volume would have been generated over here. Okay. Now, as a trader, I would make sure that I would like to avoid trading in index for some days because uh, overall it seems that we are range bound choppy. Yes, market is trying to hold on and not trying to go below the support levels. So I'll try to remain stock specific and look at few stocks like say for example, one stock I had already shared I would like to share once again. It is uh, Mahindra and Mahindra. This is one stock which is catching up momentum slowly and steadily on the upside. I would look into this stock as a swing trader. Maruti is a stock which I had already shared with all of you. And I think this stock is going slowly up. Okay. There is no problem with this stock. Even Aisha Motors, you can look up to as, as a beautiful swing trade. All the auto pack stocks are moving up pretty decently. Even the Bajaj Auto is going up nicely. Now, apart from that, if you look at IT pack, suddenly what I can see is in IT pack, Infosys is one stock where it's still in the flat trend in the daily time frame chart. Wipro suddenly is now looking a little bit attractive as a swing trader, but it, it has to first drop, come near the support level somewhere over here, you can say. And from there, if it gives a decent breakout on the upside, possibly it could uh, be a decent swing trade for a short term trader. ITC I had shared, I guess, probably in the weekly sectoral analysis, it's working pretty nicely. And there is one more stock, which is Hindustan Unilever. If you check in the daily time frame charts, it is already at a support band. But I am not a trader who would like to buy a dip, certainly not. So, what I'll do is if this particular stock gives a short term breakout in the shorter term charts, maybe hourly or even lower time frame charts, then I would like to time my entry from the lower time frame charts and possibly look up to this uh, stock as a swing trade. You can even have a look at this stock, which is pale. Currently, it's consolidating and you can see it's trading and hovering around this 50% Fibonacci retracement. Although it has not tested this very properly, but we can surely see that there is some sort of support coming over here. So any sort of proper breakout in the shorter term charts could result into a very nice breakout for a swing trade. All right. So guys, I hope uh, today's video helped you to understand how markets will move in the next few days, especially in Nifty and Bank Nifty. If you like this video, please share, like and subscribe. Thank you. Trade well.